Notifications of events is one of the most effective ways for smart home devices to engage with users. You can implement notifications through your smart home actions to alert users to things like timely device events or as confirmation that requested device state changes succeeded. Your smart home action can alert users in two different ways, either through proactive notifications or through follow-up responses. A proactive notification triggers without any preceding user requests to their smart home devices and alerts the user of a device event, such as the dishwasher cycle completing or a doorbell ringing. When these device events occur, your action fulfillment sends a notification request to Google. This request must contain a unique ID generated by your platform for the event triggering the notification, along with the priority of the notification, which defines how to present the notification to users. Additional fields depend on the device trait and can include details like status code, the notification type, or the device ID that triggered the notification. The assistant will then send the notification to users through all Google Home devices, unless a particular device has been set to do not disturb. The event ID prevents users on a shared Google Home device from getting duplicate notifications. If instead the user explicitly issues a device command that may take time to complete, such as locking the door, a follow-up response can asynchronously confirm this request either succeeded or failed. The notification payload includes the necessary unique event ID and notification priority, but additionally includes a follow-up response which contains the status of the request, error codes for event failures, if applicable, and the valid follow-up token provided during the execution request. The follow-up token must be used within five minutes to remain valid and to properly associate the response with the original request. The assistant then routes this response to the Google Home device originally queried. For either notifications or follow-up responses, users must be explicitly able to opt into these alerts within your smart home app. To indicate your user opt-in, update the device definition to indicate notifications are supported, and request a sync intent to update device data. Users will have the ability to turn off all notifications from the Google Home app. Check out the docs and samples for more details on how to get started with notifications and follow-up responses in your smart home action. If you have any questions, or if you want to see what everyone is building, join us on Reddit or follow us on Twitter. Hope to see you there!